as the node because it is the point from where the leaf start growing. Okay? Uh, so this is known as the node. Now second, which is internode. It is very simple. The step result between the two nodes. It is one node. It is another node. Okay, here elephant also start. So one node and the node. The distance between these is known as the internode. Okay, node. And this part is known as the internode. Internode. Now the last but the most important part, which is bud. Okay, you know that what is bud? A bud is a small pointed lump that appears in a plant and develops it into a leaf, flower or shoot. You are seeing a small structure here. This. Okay, I hope so that you all can see this, this part. The small structure. You know that when this but will grow up, grow up, then it may be produce the uh, leaf or flower or shoe or stem, etc. Means branches. It can produce anything, not a stem, shoot, branches. Okay? So, these were the some important parts of the plant. But, 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 oh, but, but have is divided into Two parts, vegetative bud and reproductive bud. I think that you all have guessed that what is it? Because its name is vegetative bud. Really, it is very simple. The bud. Uh, okay, I am telling you uh, with a time now. Suppose that it is a bud. Okay, when this bud will grow up. Grow up, grow up, grow up, and then if this bud will produce any leaf or any branches, means the vegetative part of plant. When this bud will grow up and produce any leaf, branches, or vegetative part of the plant, so it is known as the vegetative bud. On the other hand, if we think about the uh, sorry, if we take about the reproductive bud. So, sup uh, suppose that it is a reproductive bud. And if this bud will grow up, grow up, grow up. So, this bud will, if this bud is converted into a beautiful plant. Means the uh, reproductive part of the plant. Oh, sorry. Here the vegetative part of the plant. Okay. And here the reproductive part of the plant. Okay? Uh, let's stay away from this confusion. Let me to tell you again. When this bud will grow up in the leaf, branches or vegetative part of the plant, then it is known as the vegetative bud. And if the bud will grow up and develop into any flower, means the reprodu reproductive part of the plant, so it will be said as the reproductive bud. This is the vegetative bud and this is the reproductive bud. Uh, finally, we are cleared with the parts of the plants. Now, now let's raise this and move it, move towards our next topic. Okay, so now we will learn about the types of reproduction. Okay, what types of reproduction? Uh, reproduction in plants is classified in two types. Okay, sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. So, reproduction in plants is classified into two types. What? Sexual. Sexual reproduction. And is 
like the asexual reproduction. Okay? Not only this, asexual reproduction is classified into four types. Can you guess what is it? Vegetative propagation, first. Second is budding. Third is fragmentation. And fourth is spore formation. Okay? What? Vegetative, vegetative propagation and budding. Fragmentation and spore formation. Let's start from the vegetative propagation. So, what is the meaning of vegetative? Simple, all the vegetative parts of the plant. And propagation means multiplying the plants. So, in definition of vegetative propagation, we can say that to producing a new plant, to multiplying the plant without the help of seeds and with the help of vegetative parts of plant is known as the vegetative propagation. What are the vegetative parts of plant? A stem, roots, leaves and bud also. So, first start from the stem. Related to 
about in uh, about in two three months. So we will get our potato plant. Okay, friends. And this all is because just the buds means eyes of the potatoes. When these potatoes are planted, such like this with the eyes, then we will it will grow a new plant. So just remember. That potato is not fruit, not root. It is the stem of the plant. Okay. Not only potato, onion, and ginger, turmeric. These all also these are also the examples of the underground stem. Okay. So, uh, you know. That in this underground stem, these potatoes are known as the tubers. Onion is known as the bulbs, and the last turmeric, uh, uh, turmeric, which are known as the rhizome. Okay, friends. Okay. So this is the validated propagation. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I had only tell you about the. How is that possible? Because leaf and root, these are also the parts, validated parts of the plant. Okay, so we have here learned about the stem. Now we are going to learn about the root. So I am going to take an, an example of sweet potato or dahlia. These are the roots. So and leaves. You know. That leaves are also very interesting. Uh, example: bryophyll plants. The leaves of bryophyll plants are such like this. Beautiful from this. Okay.
Bye. Bye.